si Liana. Talaga binabalikan nila yung um, setback nila in last uh, season 85 where they didn't even make the final four, which hasn't happened since season 72. So they're really back with a vengeance and wanting to get back to the final four. But Eliza Solomon will score first. Is still full of hope because they are in contention for that final fourth spot. And according to Zell Sunashima, an anchor to get her into the right mindset has been manifesting her goals through writing program this rebuilding year. Zell told me that this energy has rubbed off on the rest of the team. And it's energy they hope to channel into aggression for today's game. Back to the panel. Thanks a lot, Rocio. Maraming naniniwala dyan sa manifesting. <laughs> and that's also another thing that the younger generation of players have developed now. That's part of their sports psychology program in journaling. Of course, for Zell, we have seen a vast improvement from her performance last year. So definitely, she is manifesting a lot of uh, growth. And you would be surprised to know that it is their newfound love for solving the Rubik's Cube. You know, one player that I always see solving one was actually last game's standout player. And that's Throughout the season, she's had a shaky start, but we don't know what she did to have that wake-up call because here, approaching the second round, and here in the second round, she's been having better, uh, more involved and activated by Taks Fujimoto, all because better defense by Adelaide. Right, we have a timeout. Good first ball there. And Sulit is aggressive today. She's getting a lot of touches as well. Another chance here for Atenea to set up. Tax pushing it outside to De Guzman. Alin Sug playing awesome defense so far. But look at Roma. But that effort. They will be meeting LaSalle next. And after that, Adamson and then FEU. So hindi natin pa din sabihin magadali na ang uh, kinaharap ng NU. And look at them quickly. Uh, double block ni Maaya and the Lamina. Pero babawi agad. Maaya being fed early on, but we really have to see her pick up her game. Solomon from the right side. See one of the prized opposite hitters. And Elin Sug hitting it off the block. But good defense we're seeing from the Blue Eagles. Lamina going for the quick. Again, good defense by the girls in white. Another chance here. Tax with a slider for Sulit there. Look at this rally. And Alinsug finally gets it after three tries. Alinsug, and look at the reaction of Alinsug. Towering above the blockers, choosing that angle where Tax Fujimoto, the shorter blocker, is. The Blue Eagles, and kita mo yung kompiansa sa kanya ng coach din. One of the most improved player on the side of Ateneo. I believe it's season 85 to score in the playing time as well, but now second top scorer of the team as well. And you know, on the side of Ateneo, I think he's sticking to the game tonight. Itong NU, of course, whenever Solomon is in front, she gets she gets a lot of sets. And even at the back row, oh. she gets to convert. Now they have nine errors already on their side. So it's 93 points already to Ateneo. That's why they always manage to catch up here at 20 all right now. Exactly what they need to do to catch up against NU. Let's see if Tax is able to implement. And Leanne uh, Guzman will sneak in that point. Uh, part of the donut hole of NU's defense is zone 2. Another so one coming from the left side. Guys, at mula guys, Eliza, she is just having a heyday today. Uh, Especially, is just off the charts, partner. So look at that. I mean, such a joy to watch. It's a thing of beauty. Eliza, so she leads that department for them to counter-attack. Guzman tries to avert. The first set point. And that is called outside. Unfortunately for the Blue Eagles, it's going to be a win. Talking about how Bella Belen has been silent in the offense. So we got to credit really the effort that she has been giving at the back, picking up a lot of strong attacks. And I guess her experience as well internationally from last year also gave her a lot of confidence and experience. 
But uh, talking about confidence, Shinoshima, like we did mention. Of course, this is early in the second set. They have more than enough time to make up. <laughs> Show what they've got, because that is definitely what Vance Alinsuk has been doing. Potential and the talent of these fighters are really brought out by talented setters just like Lance Lamina. Imagine. Malalansi mo talaga yung mga blockers and your spikers will have no blocker at all. So the buena pick up there by Solomon. Dormal will set up Zell there and she will sneak in that point, hitting it off the hands of the blockers. Eight points already for Alin Sug. That's a good serve, but a better first ball by Leandre Guzman, and that is what Coach Sergio wants to see. Just the UE in all the scoring departments, they were all uh, dominated by NU. Even so serving, it is a six to none uh, output for NU against UE. So now I think they're also carrying over their uh, very heavy serving game against Ateneo. Rookie MVP, Bella Belen, with that classic jump serve. Good first ball there by Tsunashima. Uh, Stuff next to the net. Miner saving that one. Solomon trying to get sneaky there. And Zell Tsunashima going up. The block. <laughs> Her uh, 11 point. Solid game today. Cause it's eh, kasi ng libreng puntos itong si NU na they, they just need to ride on uh, that trend from NU. Look at the defense though of Bella Belen there, allowing for these transition plays from NU. A joust won by the Bulldogs, and that one is off Solomon's hand. The reason for when I six point advantage here for NU, and they should take advantage of the fact that Solomon is in the back now talking about Ateneo. Except Alin Sug is in the front, and she has been lethal, she has been precise, and she has been waxing hot all night. Screen. It looks so very easy as you see the spike of the set brought to you by Duncan. Placed uh, Sophie Buena earlier, plus we also see Pasha on the floor right now. Good pick up there from Pasha. De Los Santos playing good defense off the bench there, and the Guzman is able to convert. Casey Cortez on the court. She was the one with that dig earlier, and she is now calling the shots here for Ateneo. Coach Sergio shuffling things a little bit. Oh! And the other libero couldn't handle Solomon either. The amount of power that she gives off when she takes off from the front line, it's just as much when she's at the back row. It doesn't make her less of a threat. Mas mahirap pang atapatan ng blockers kapag uh, nasa back row siya. Plus, she also angles her attacks kahit na back row. So I take it back. Hindi sila pwede maging masaya na si Solomon is in back row because she is dangerous from everywhere in the court. No. But now, parang they're not displaying the same amount of character that they did in those uh, games we mentioned. De Guzman really having a hard time penetrating that block. Of her 16 attempts, 75% on her attack efficiency today. Wow. Amazing numbers. Alin Sug, just soft touch there. De Guzman, good pick up by De Los Santos. De Guzman will go again. A pancake, double pancake. Nakita mo rin yung confusion kay Coach Sergio. Oh. Na parang hindi niya rin alam what's happening to, her, to his girls. That's a good pick up there by Pasha. De Los Santos. Oh, but come on. Did you see that dig? <laughs> Naputo pa ni Hardio. De Los Santos will go again, and that did not hit the net. But tuloy pa rin. Another chance here for De Los Santos. A chase by NU. No complacency at all. Solo block. Pangilina was hoping to score on that one.
like we did mention, they need to capitalize on the errors of in you and previously it was Villa Santos and uh, their efforts paid off with that Sulit hit. Oh, what a time for a service ace by AC Minor. To Migla, ang Ateneo, but it might be a little too late with Enyo already at 23 points, but close as you can to the score right now because we've seen a lot of crazy things happen in volleyball. Mm -hmm. So let's see if uh, they get to be successful in making runs. Oh, Alan Sook! Mindset of Van Alan Sook today. It's really so aggressive from offense, even on her defense. 12 points already for Van Alin Sook. Same, same. See, Alin Sook is just really spectacular today. Oh, double block will give Enyu the second set win. Enyu being able to practically eliminate their errors and forcing Ateneo to commit, commit these misquotes is okay. She came in as a setter. In fact, I was going to comment that Iniwan siya as setter ni, ni Coach Sergio. Tax, of course. Oh, for oh. the first time in this game. Right, yeah, right. See, Tax, of course, back on the court. And well, for Coach Sergio, naganap na lang din talaga siya kung sino yung mag step up in this game. Two sets, pinalagpas niya na, but his usual starters weren't really providing the kind of. Uh... And that's your attempt to play. Look at Miner with that solo block, but ball still in play. And she will get the ball again. Just points in a row for AC Miner. You gotta comment hard, yo. Solomon will get the ball, as usual, connecting again or converting that uh, just two points for Bella Belen, but you don't even notice because of the output of her teammates. And she also changed up her serves, uh, usually uh, jump spin, yeah, and now she went for a jump float. Meeting against anywhere, they took the Bulldogs to five sets. It was an exciting early game in the tournament. Sophie Buena had a big game. I think that was her breakout game against NU with 16 points. And this time she is limited to three. So ito nga ang nagiging uh, problema ni Coach Sergio. Yung mga big players niya hindi makaforma or hindi. Thanks a lot for CEO. It's a good sign that she's still in the court. No? At least Mela hindi pa siya linabas and she's able to enjoy the game from the sidelines. We wish Casey Court as well. For the right player to spark things off for his team. <laughs> and that's Solomon from back row. It's a good sign that uh, Miner and the Guzman are in the front row. Because if Ooh. they're going to catch up, they should do it now. Dahil mamaya, it's going to have more pressure kapag yung puntos is nasa round 20 na. Oh. Uh, just to give our viewers sort of summary of what's been going on the past three sets. Ateneo's total running attack points right now is 24. That's all. That's yeah, you're coming off the bench. So, medyo it pa. It's Solomon from back row. Good pick up by De Guzman. <laughs> That's a point, and she's so happy about it. Yes, really, he's in his better than the rest of Ateneo. For some teams, it takes just one person no, to spark things off, to lead the team to step up. But so far, wala rin masyadong uh, nagsistep up in streak. At this point, so it will be 9-2 and two if uh, they get this. And Sulit with two points in a row. Score points and just get closer. And use 22 points. And yung hinahanap natin no, a player who can, the same way that Alin Sug and Solomon had been doing for NU. Back row attack, Solomon! And this is a chance also for her to uh, to master also that five attack. No players in double digits so far for Ateneo. Here's a chance for NU to close it out. Escalar there was dug. Solomon off the hands and just fitting that Solomon closes out the set and wins the match for a national university. They sweep 
Ateneo.